So one of the things that happens right now is kids take science classes, but they don't really get exposure to real chemistry and physics. And then when they get to high school, they have to get, take chemistry, physics, biology, you know, astronomy, and geology. And these are the real hard classes. And in fact, the grades tend to drop off by the time they get into high school. The scores go down. Well, why is that? Well, we haven't really prepared our young kids, our elementary students and our middle school students to be able to take on chemistry and physics in high school. So I wrote Real Science for Kids, starting with uh, kindergarten or first grade. My pre-level chemistry introduces you very young students to the concepts of atoms and molecules and chemical reactions and acids and bases and polymers and DNA and protein. These are the subjects that a student will um, be exposed to, will have to learn in high school. And then in my level one series, I teach kids uh, the same subjects, the same topics, atoms and molecules and chemical reactions and acids and bases and proteins and polymers. And the idea here is, is that learning science, in my opinion, is no different than learning a language or learning math uh, or learning music. You must expose kids to the foundational building blocks for the subject that you want them to know. And so in, when we learn a language, we introduce kids to the alphabet and then to you know, how to make words from the letters of the alphabet and how to put words together to make sentences and so on. We give them the building blocks of language. The same is true with math and music. And so why not do this for science? Why not give students the building blocks for real science, give them the chemistry, give them the physics, give them the biology, the real biology, which is really applied chemistry and physics to a living system. So now that they know the chemistry and physics, you can start talking about the chemistry and physics of living systems and biology, and then you can go on to discuss the chemistry and physics of non-living systems in geology and astronomy. And in my mind, this is the way to lay a solid foundation for science education in the elementary and mid-school grades. You give kids the real science, you give it to them in digestible pieces over the course of eight years, and by the time they get to high school, chemistry and physics concepts, chemistry and physics uh, vocabulary, and even some math is part of their toolbox, and they walk into a high school a chemistry or physics classroom and they know this stuff. And so what I try to do is, 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 is build this foundation for them so that they have a solid uh, basis for understanding science before they get into high school and college. And this is what I wanted to accomplish with Real Science for Kids.